God bless you and welcome back. We're, uh, we have been so blessed and we've been uh, just receiving what God has for us, receiving this, this powerful word that Pastor Raymond Delgado has been sharing with us. Pastor, uh, blessed are the pure in heart. But there's a second part to that, to that verse. There's a second part to that, that, that story. It says, they shall see God. I think that's a reward associated with this beatitude in specific. Often people say, how come I don't hear from God? How come I don't, I don't see God? How come I don't see the work of his hand? How come I don't see miracles? And, and, and so my response is this, is as, as the prophet has told us, our, our lips confess or they acknowledge, but our hearts are far from him. And so I think that if we address the heart, and as our heart reattaches into the glory and the presence of God, we would be witnesses of seeing that. First and foremost, in our lives. I think that in order to be Christians, we, we have to be a light upon a hill. We have to be the light of the world because Christ is the light of the world. And if he's the light in us, then we'll illuminate the darkness around us. And so people will see God in us. And I think that's so awesome. We, we have a lot of religion, but we don't have a lot of relationship, if I can be honest. And, and so I think with that, if, if we renew our relationship with God with a new heart, I think that we would be better in our testimony. I think we would do better, be better representatives. And I think it's so impactful and so needed to the world around us that we would see it, that they would see, hey, you're forgiving now, you're loving now, you're gentle now, you're giving now. And so I think that it's a, it's a much needed part of our lives that, that we need to have addressed. And, and they see the, the, the change in us. The scripture says we're an open letter, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're the testimony of, of, of what God is doing in the earth today. Mm -hmm. And it's not a, a ceremonial, it's not about being religious. I, I love that you said that, Pastor. It's about relationship. It really is. It's about really having a heart for God. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, uh, serving the Lord and, and, and seeing God. I mean, we, we think about that, Pastor. That is amazing. Yeah. Seeing God. They shall see God. Yeah. And, 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 and so one of the things, the takeaways that I get from that is, is just being a pastor of a church, you see miracles every day. And, and sometimes the miracles that we see, we, we, we want to see demons being cast out or we want to see, um, you know, the, the, the dead come back to life or, or people that are crippled that, that walk again, right? Um, but, but for me, to see a marriage restored is seeing God. For me, to see a prodigal son come home and serve God, that's a miracle. For me, to see someone that was a drug addict, someone that was an outcast, Delivered. and and to give his life to Christ, that's to see God. And so for me, when, when we are pure in heart, it, it's like these blinders are removed from our eyes and we can see the handiwork of God. We can take these things that maybe other people take for granted and we can say, no, God is still here. God is still here. God is still in the midst. And I think that if, if our churches would just allow God and his spirit and, and the hearts to be changed, we would be witnesses of what's going on around us. God's not dead. God's not asleep. He is here and he's as powerful as he ever was because he never changes. What changes is us, our perspective. Yes. And so with a purified heart comes a renewed outlook on things. And so sometimes we can be in church, we can be so critical, we could be so negative, we could be filled with complaints about how things are working. But when we have a purified heart, we see Christianity for what it is. We see that it is a people who are after God's heart, where we are disciples, where we are followers. And I think that's where the blessings in ministries such as this come, that a purified heart is a generous heart. It's yes. a giving heart. It's a heart that understands the call to discipleship, to go into the nations. And so when we have that purified heart, guess what? We're not as materialistic. We're not as selfish. We're not so mean minded, but we consider our neighbors. Even if our neighbors are overseas in countries that we'll never see, we partner with ministries such as this. And that's what a pure heart does. It doesn't see from our perspective, but from a kingdom perspective. And I think that's matters. And I think that slowly the church is just so blinded by the things of the world. That same God can reach into your home. The, he can reach into your, 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 your place of business. He can reach to where you're at right now. He can restore. 
I love that part, Pastor, seeing God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Pastor explained it so beautifully. We're blessed here in WME because when we see the smile on those children's faces, Amen. when we see those that are hungry being fed, when we see those that, that uh, can't even enjoy a clean glass of water, can enjoy a, because their water is contaminated, their water is, is, is uh, not readily available. And when we see them receive water, we see God in that. We see God, and, and, and you said it so beautifully, Pastor, and I, I'll, I'll repeat it. You know, when you see that marriage restored, when you see that home brought to, back together, when you see that, that, that life touched and changed by the power of God, and that God is here right now, and that God can touch their lives right now, Pastor. Amen. It's about surrender. It's about giving up to the Lord. It's about obedience, Pastor. Yes. And, and so we want the blessings without the obedience. And so I think that we need to have a call of repentance to the church, to us as believers. If you're watching and, and you know you're not where you need to be, God is calling you home. God is calling you back into his presence. And, and I think that's what's so awesome about God is his mercies, his compassion is renewed every day. And so praise God for that. And in this next 60 seconds that we have, Pastor, share a word of prayer for those who are watching right now, for those who need to come back to the Lord, for those who need to, to, to repent and just to, to purify their hearts before the Lord. Amen. Uh, Father, we, we thank you first and foremost for this day. And we, we, we've read in scriptures where your son is knocking on the door of our heart. And maybe somebody has been touched. Maybe the person listening has, has been inspired. And, and so, Father, I pray that they would open the door of their heart. But, but not just to a portion of their heart, but to all of their heart. For you have called us to love you with all of our mind, heart, body, and soul. And so I just pray, Father God, for repentance. Because we know that when we turn from our ways and we turn to you, we are always embraced in your love. And so I just pray that your spirit would just penetrate every heart, no matter how hard or broken or difficult it is, and that you would create in us, in your church, in your people who are called after your name, a new heart. Thank you so much for being with us, Pastor. We've enjoyed this time together. Please, if this video is a blessing to your life, like it, subscribe, and share it, and let others be touched by what God is doing. Many people are shocked when they discover that world missionary evangelism has been building, funding, and staffing Bible colleges for decades. These institutions of learning offer those called to preach the gospel and share the good news an educational foundation to better serve God and man. In the courses taught by experienced instructors, students grow in biblical faith and knowledge, as well as in all facets of mission outreach and work. The tools provided by these colleges help build roads of understanding that enable our sponsored missionaries to reach countless souls. Bible colleges, therefore, are just another example of the fact that the evangelism and world missionary evangelism is not just part of the name, it defines our mission, our focus, and is the heart of our work.